Uh, for me, I, d- I definitely, I think that's not the f- um, be all and end all, obviously, of um, the journey or what we're working on. It's kind of, for me, it's a bit upsetting because the stuff that we work on in the gym <clears throat> and the imp- the um, vision that I know Sugar's got for me is a spectacular one. So it's just a, about getting there one step at a time. We've had about maybe three months together now, um, maybe maybe three and a half months. And um, there's been some progress, but it's still uh, a learning curve for me, I think. Um, obviously, I'm always good at learning. Yeah, you know I mean, obviously, I'm gonna learn from this defeat. No biggie. Um, I had a short and explosive amateur career. Same with the professional. I managed to become British Commonwealth European champion. Um, all off the back of my mentality and um, physicality. So I'm gonna carry on. Obviously, become two-time world champion. That's a no-brainer. So we'll just um, take this one and, as I said, go back to the drawing board. Sugar, what was the main game plan going into the fight? Knockout. Mm. <laughs> Main game plan. Yeah. Unless you want to be more technical. <laughs> ah, just a little bit more technical. Really, Lawrence was, uh, you know, the, the game plan is to stay tall. Stay mm. tall, work off the jab, and land the punches. As he stated that uh, he was a bit tight, and that was something that we talked about in training camp. Uh, at certain times when he hits the mitts with me and, and does certain things, if he's tight, then it comes off a bit slower. But when he's fluent, then, uh, you know, he's magical. Um, one of the things I was saying to him in the corner was like, keep moving, like don't stop, like be free, like keep it flowing, keep it flowing because he would jump in and then would just stop. Yeah. And I was supposed to bend the bang, but like a one, two mm-hmm. right off of that. But, or sometimes he would just jump in and just, and just freeze. So that, that was the punch. And he's done it sometimes. The times he did it, he hurt Chris. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. And the one round when he did have him hurt good, he just, then he smothered the work. So, I mean, he's, he knows what he made, what his mistakes were. So, uh, for me, it's the best thing is for when you know what your mistakes are, you can work on it. But if you have no idea what you was doing wrong, oh, it's a long journey. Yeah. Uh, yes, I know. But there was none that landed like the way that I like to land. There was a couple of good shots. <clears throat> but as I said, um, I was too eager like, and I felt myself rushing in because I felt with the knockdown he got in the fourth and a couple of points, I was like, i got to knock him out. So I was there loading up as opposed to just relaxing. And um, I kind of lost track of rounds as well, which was quite annoying for me. Usually I'm quite composed, like, this is round seven I'm going into. I like, I was just like, oh shit, it's round 10. Fuck, we got to swear for swearing. We got to push it. Um, so it was good. As I said, for me, like, I don't really, um, I don't really have much excuse or nothing like that. I'm just, like I said, I understand the, um, bo- the game of boxing. Um, he did well. Today's his day and, Tomorrow will be my day. It's not the same Chris that you left in the gym. Or that Hunting, it's the same guy. Uh, me and him always had good hard work. I think it's just twos and flows. That, for example, if I landed the shot in the fourth that hurt him, I, I, I probably would have got the fight. But, you know, like moments make fights. You know, <clears throat> I think you get a knockdown, it boosts you for the next couple of rounds. And even me, I said, oh, I, could. I think the knockdown was in like the fourth. So I said, round five, relax. You know, get your feet on, get caught with nothing silly. You just work and then that would be another round in his favour and then from there you just get um, I think with certain points and stuff like that the fight started slipping away and then it made me have to kind of push it so it was um, a, a new position to be in and it was um, it was kind of exciting it was kind of weird because I hate losing I'm obviously a winner at heart um, but it was just interesting to kind of know today I was watching Lennox Lewis's documentary and um, I saw him take some L's and come back and that's the kind of energy that I'm feeling right now Hold on Wait, I got a question. What were the scorecards? Because I couldn't hear in there, but I just heard the crowd booing. So, could somebody tell me? Mm. Wow. That's That's very interesting. And then it was 116, 107, 115, 108. Mm. 106, 107? What did you say? 116, 107. Oh, 116, okay. Them points and shit, man. Well, it's called on my next one. I'm going to get them. In hindsight, it's been a very short turnaround time from the previous camp. Have an effect on how you felt that way? I don't think so. I think it's good back to back. I was in great shape. There's not really, I ain't got no excuses. It's just like, bro, it was a fight and another guy kind of threw more punches at the right time. Um, his game plan worked well. There's not, there's nothing really to it. Today's his day and I know what I'm going to go and work on. And at the end of the day, like I've lost as an amateur, I'll come back, become an Olympian. I've lost as a pro, I'm going to come back, be a world champion. For me, this is, it's just another step. Like, for, like I don't really get too emotional when it comes to boxing. When I win, it's like, okay, well done. And I, I've lost now. It's like, right, cool, what are we going to do? So for me, it's just uh, the name of the game. And that's why I'm going to be world champion again. Last 
Alright, so you think the rematch will take place in Bournemouth or do you think it goes to neutral territory? I don't mind coming to Bournemouth. There's nothing there's nothing about this that made it anything more than what it was. It was, it was I'm not gonna lie, it was exciting for me. I'm not gonna lie, it was exciting. I loved it. I felt like uh it it forced like so it's very hard to recreate that energy from an opponent, you know, um coming with everything. So for me, it's an it's another tick. Obviously I didn't get the win, but it's a tick. Like I've beaten undefeated guy after undefeated guy, I've beaten contenders, but going to someone's backyard and then seeing everything they got. <laughs> Chris, um Fantastic. His confidence is probably going to go up off, off that win. Um, but there's not really much more um, to it. It's just, all right, cool. Let me, if I'm going to lose in Bournemouth, I might as well win here. Yo. Apologies if the question has been answered. All good. Uh, when the referee was warning the Dutch and pointed to the DC, was there or did it... I kind of had the idea that stuff like that was going to happen the whole time. I was thinking, oh my goodness, they're going to really get it. Um, but there's not, like I said, I'm not here to make excuses and stuff like that. Uh, I need to watch it back to see, but I could tell um, by the time I got to like round seven, eight, I was like, if I don't get a knockout, they're gonna, it's gonna slip away, and I wasn't able to get the shots off, so I just got to take it and go again. Yo, cool. What was the first thing you said? Uh, for me, like I said, I don't get emotional when it comes to boxing. I'm very matter of fact. <clears throat> the the fact is, um, Chris did better work than me today. Uh, I had points deducted. I had knockdowns, whether I thought they were legitimate or not. There was like maybe six points deducted in a fight. <clears throat> That's just what it is. When you get six points deducted, unless you <laughs> knock the guy down or knock him out or win convincingly all the rounds, you're going to lose a fight on points. Do you know what I mean? So it was good hard fight. I need to watch it back. I think I had to grit it out as well at times. Um, it's just good, good character building. Like I said, it's good character building for me, and um, uh, I'm happy to see not obviously beat me because I would prefer to be here. Like, yeah, I won another one, but it was um good to see um Chris fulfill his dreams. I'm happy for him as a man. You know, I think he's great with his wife. I think he's great with his kid. Um, and I liked him as a person. Um, I would obviously have liked to beat him and knock him out, but he got the he got the victory here, and um, I don't really. I don't really feel any ill will towards him. I just want to get it back. You made, your, you made efforts to kind of make the style a bit more entertaining and, and kind of end the hugging aspect of the game. Um, does this make you, with the point of deduction, want to really kind of focus that and really kind of eliminate that from the game? Because I think I'm going to start giving seminars to British Boxing Border Control or whatever on holding and shit like that because it's like, <clears throat> I need to watch it back to see if it was excessive and stuff. But it's like, if you've got an arm free or you've got like, there's certain positions you're allowed to get to, into in boxing. And there's no fight in boxing where two people don't come together. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like, obviously with the um, occasion and you've got Shane in the corner, he's holding. And you can, anyone can get flustered. Referees make bad calls all the time. Um, the crowd was excited. It was, it was, it was, it's Bournemouth. Do you know what I mean? You're a away fighter in a sense, um, despite being a champion and you're going to have to deal with that. But for, for me, uh, I could have been or should have been better. I wasn't. So you got to take it and come again. Lawrence, with um, being in Bournemouth, there was obviously a lot of hype around it before the fight. Um, you took a little bit of time to come out for your ring walk. Mm. Was that perhaps a bit of mind games, trying to keep him waiting in the ring? What was, what was the reason? No, we were just struggling with the um, kit. It's quite cold out there. I was trying to get something on. It wasn't working, so I have to take a couple of seconds longer. One more question. Jonathan. Yo. What was your feeling on Brad Pitt's campaign of doing? Yeah. Um, Oh, it wasn't any difference. It was just um, 10 ounce gloves. So the shots hurt a little bit more. As I said, he got a knockdown. <coughs> so that obviously was a, a factor. Uh, what else was there? He was strong on the inside, which he always is. <coughs> but I think he was chopping good shots. So I was being a little bit sloppy and leaning in and he was able to get a little right hooks off and he was really working in there. So <coughs> it, it, it's definitely um, in a fight like this and someone's home, it makes a big difference because it'll rally them on. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, like I said, good work and nothing to it. Mm. I think, uh, obviously, uh, you don't want to give a game plan. Away. Obviously, I'll be a little bit more loose, but I think I'll go for a, 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 a actually like, empty the tank early. I wouldn't be trying to go points. I'd be trying to just get it done and whatever happens, happens.
getting pretty late here, ladies and gentlemen, but we want to thank Sugar and Lawrence for joining us here today. No thank you for being one half and an amazing show, Lawrence. Okay. Still a champion to a okay. lot of people. Thank you, Lawrence, for your thank time. You. Have a great night. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.